Hey, 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 so I decided to make a homemade pizza. I know I've been gone for a minute, but let's get into it. So here you see my melted butter. I'm adding parsley. I didn't have garlic paste, but you are gonna see me add in some garlic powder. And then I'm gonna stir that up real, real good. While you guys watch me stir this all together, just know I do miss you guys. I'm grateful for you all checking on me. I just need some more time and then I'll be willing to talk about what happened. So take your parsley and your butter mix and pour it on top of your crust and you're gonna pre-bake your crust so that it's not soggy. I wanted to use hamburger meat and bacon on mine so you go ahead and cook that and then you're gonna put it to the side. Now, I poured the rest of my parsley and my butter mix and I poured it on my pizza, the remaining, and then I put my pizza sauce. You know, add your cheese and you're just gonna start throwing on all of your toppings. I have pepperoni, I use the mozzarella cheese, you can use whatever cheese you want, honey, but that's what I chose. And then you'll see me after doing the layers of my pepperoni, I did my hamburger meat. And just sprinkle it all on there, honey, get it on there real good. We made a healthy pizza. Don't be skimpy with it. Don't do that. We ain't say it was healthy. We just said, you know, we want to be fat tonight. All right. Our backs are already big, so it don't even matter. So spread that all around. So I wanted bacon on my pizza. I cooked it on the stove to almost done, but it wasn't fully done. Just give it a little crisp to it because you don't want it to burn once you put it in the oven. This is what the pizza looked like when I had added on all of my ingredients. But I went on top after adding the bacon and I added some more cheese, honey, because yes, I want it to be hefty and thick. So you're gonna see me just add in some more cheese. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Again, my piece of my business. So once you get all your toppings on and you're satisfied with it, you're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees. And you're gonna cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Some of y'all ovens cook fast like mine, so you can do like 20 minutes, you know, just go in there and check it. And then this is what it looks like when it's done. I prefer mine a little more on a crispy side, but you know, you can take yours out so. 